Hi, I'm going live and I'm very, very, very excited because we need to make September a weight loss month. And I say that for all those who know that healthy weight loss is possible and wonderful and essential for healthy living and you can do it and I'm here to help you because and I'm just adding a link here for my upcoming accountability group. So I'll pin that so you can join it. I'm just letting you know it's necessary because August is actually the December of the summer. And what that means is less structure, more temptations. The summer, December, less structure, more temptations. So there's been bridal showers and baby showers and county fairs and trips and Fridays where you're not working and happy hours and barbecues and so forth. And it is fabulous. And I hope you are enjoying and soaking up every last drop of summer. I know I am, but September is a critical month to get it together. I want to share a story with you that I hope inspires you because one of my clients told it to me yesterday, and I don't think I'm going to ever forget it for the rest of my life. So I want to share it here with you. She was struggling with her weight in high school. This is a while ago. She's now a mother and, and so forth. But she was recalling back to her childhood and how she was really struggling with her weight in high school. She was doing cheerleading. She stopped. She gained a bunch of weight. And then she went abroad to France. In France, she was abroad and lived with doctor vegetarians living in France. And she lost 60 pounds in half a school year living in France and in this environment. And her, and she said it was literally to be mindset, my weight loss program. That is what default they were eating in France, which is a hundred percent. Like my goal is to, but with an American twist, cause I'm a volume eater. Like we're not all going to eat very little amounts of food. If you're like me, you want to get full, you, you need to probably eat more than someone who grew up in France and is eating very little. Cause your body is just not used to that. That's not how you necessarily function, but literally my plate it like protein, carbohydrates. She said it was never just croissant for breakfast. It always had eggs there. It was never just, you know, a pastry or even just fruit or honey or granola. It always had that yogurt component. So there was always so much consciousness and dinner really was veggies most. And there's so many vegetables in the plan. But the interesting thing she said is that her mom sent her American candy to France. And so she was so excited to show this American candy bag to her French host and the host mom took a Reese's peanut butter cup and cut it in six, a Reese's peanut butter cup, a Reese's peanut butter cup. In America, we have king size amounts of those where people think like, you know, maybe I should have four at a time. I know I used to when I was much, you know, much less healthy and not on a good path with my own health. And I was, and I weighed a lot more weight. Like I looked at whatever package was given to me as the correct serving size versus in France, she literally took a Reese's peanut butter cup and cut it into six and literally just had like a little bite to taste, which again comes from eating and nourishing her body with water first and veggies most beforehand, having protein because the fuller you are, the more self-control you can have. And you really just need to set yourself up for success. I mean, obviously I have tons of clients. There's tons of people doing the to be mindset who are able to lose weight through August, through December, through Halloween, through and so forth. But it's much harder in our society. I just spoke to someone who went to a county fair. She said, I was so awesome at my county fair. I ate beforehand. I had a big grilled chicken salad. She didn't have this. She said, I carried my water with me wherever I went. I got this big ice cream thing to share. To, well, she said, I got an ice cream. In the past, I would have had the whole thing. but I decided I don't need to eat this whole thing. I'm going to share it with my daughter. And I love that because honestly, a lot of these things have big price tags, like they're $8 ice cream shakes. So like, you don't need to have the whole thing. And I love that she had that in intuition to not really finish it. And she said in the past, she wouldn't have had that. And so she was able to maintain her weight through August. And she's doing amazing, just as an example of how you can make healthy choices and see a lot of progress in August or December. But I want to let you know it is harder. And so September, I really encourage you in September, I really encourage you to make it a weight loss month. I just really do. Um, if you're someone who struggles with your weight, has weight to lose, is frustrated by the weight you've been in all summer, whatever it is, like I just, I, I mean this honestly from the bottom of my heart, make September a weight loss month. It is a very important month that's sandwiched between August, which I always say is, again, the summer, December. 
less structure, more temptations. And November, October, Halloween candy, pumpkin spice lattes, Christmas cookies. We know the drill. We know the drill. September is really an important month to thrive and not just maintain weight, but actually drop pounds, like lose seven pounds this month, eight pounds this month, because you can, because it'd be healthy too, because it doesn't have to be extreme changes you make in order to do so. It would just take following the two bunnies, my two big mindset program, keeping these core four principles in mind every day as you continue to live your life in your back to school environment or your back to work environment or just back to fall environment. So I really recommend you do this. That's why I have an accountability group starting September 5th. I've been planning this accountability group literally for the past like four months, just looking forward to it. And I really hope you join me. It's usually like my biggest accountability group of the year. I want it to be this time. It's free. There's no credit card even to enter and you can make money in it, but join it take this month seriously. If this is a goal that you have in mind, take it seriously, commit to it. You can do it. And September is a really important month to do it. Just so you set your whole fall up for success. Because if you actually drop seven, eight, nine pounds in September or five or four, whatever, you know, you want to do, maybe lose like one to two and a half pounds a week or whatever, is deemed healthy by uh, your doctor and and doing it in a really healthy, positive way where you're still eating, you're still nourishing your body. You're not doing anything extreme. You're not cutting anything out or restricting. You're focused on just fueling your body best. It's really an important kind of tone to set the whole fall up so that when Halloween candy comes, you're like, Tinteo, do I really need this eating opportunity? I really don't. I'm feeling awesome. And then your body starts to hold you accountable because your body's so used to eating well that it even like has something and it's like, I don't even feel well after that. So your body holds you accountable in the fall and winter when you're going to need all the help you can get. All right. So I love you guys so much. This is why I have the accountability group starting America. We have to do better county fairs. You got to do better. Some of these county fairs, I'm looking at the menus. I'm talking to clients who are going to them. They even call themselves agricultural county fairs. And yet they only have fried food on the menu. There's nothing agricultural about it. They don't even have pints of strawberries or salads or farm fresh goods. And that is so unacceptable because the health of the community is the health and future of the county fair. So we got to do better. If you're in a position of power to set menus at events, parties in communities, do it. I'm doing a a big push with my kids school right now. We're doing a big nutrition push, uh, a new birthday party policy and so forth. This is very important for our future generation, for the future health of our bodies and you know our future. So love you all so much. Let's do better. Let's be stronger. And let's make September like our one to win. All right. Love you so much. I'll see you there.